Welcome to part 8, and I finally climbed up the ledge! Yay, I just forgot to turn on the recorder in time, but that's okay. You don't need to see me climb up the ledge, because after all, you kind of know what to do if your controller actually works. Anyway, you take the bomb flower and blow up the rock that's impeding your path. If you were able to blow up the door, that would make things a hell of a lot easier, although I'll be eating my words later on in this part. Anyway, this wall right here. There is an island that has a similar trap, so you might want to get used to it. Pull out the blocks that are underneath so you can climb up and so forth. I think the island where they have this kind of trap is also got two versions of these. Like two different types of blocks where you have to form a pyramid to get a Triforce chart. So bear that in mind. And now we come to the next room where there's the key and the compass. And oh god, there's rats here too. Don't think I haven't forgot what you assholes did to me in Forsaken Fortress. Oh, it's King of Red Lions. Telling you something I've already told you back in Forsaken Fortress. You need to put bait down so that the rats won't attack you. But instead, the rats here will give you a treasure chest. I don't know what kind of treasure chest, I forgot what it was, but it was a treasure nonetheless. Maybe some rupees or things like that. Do you see rat holes? You have bait. By all means, uh, drop bait for the rats. Otherwise, they're annoying nuisances and you should kill them. Like I just did. I got my revenge. Anyway, we have two chests here. We're gonna need a torch to get the other one. We're gonna have to set the torch on fire and throw it across the room and not roll off of the cliff. Ugh, I just pulled a dark side fill, didn't I? I'm sorry. I I'm really sorry. Okay, climb up on the other side. I know I was really pissed because I missed that jump and screwed that up, but, yeah. Hey, I thought I relit the torch. What the hell? Thank you. Now then, we set that area on fire. And now we're going to go and get the key, but first, let's get the compass. Oh, by the way, you do get the treasure. The dungeon treasure, however, it's in a more convoluted matter than what it was in uh, Forsaken Fortress. At least you get the dungeon treasure here, unlike Forsaken Fortress, where you have to wait till the second visit to get it. Now then, let's grab the key and let's get the hell on out of here. Now then, we're going to climb up this area and we're going to exit this room, and I suggest you run like your life depends on it. I don't think this is the stairs, but if it is, then... Oh, wait, no, it's not the stairs. Sorry, wrong stairs. But get used to climbing like your life depends on it, because those particular stairs are similar to the ones that actually fall from underneath you, so it's the next area. Now, this is a rock. They're the same annoying bird enemies from the previous part, which is part 6. No, it wasn't part 7, it was part 7, sorry. And they house these things. You're gonna need the dungeon item to get 20 of these. You just gotta show one of them to the, uh, Rito that wanted the... Feather. The, the golden feather. But also, go into the nest and you'll find the small key here. Now, you want to go on ahead and open the door, and I do believe it's dark. Yes, it's dark. That's not... I, and I do believe here. It is dark. At least I have somewhat of a lantern effect, unlike in uh, Ocarina of Time, where it's just deadly dark for no apparent reason. Oh! There's Keese here! I hate Keese. They're annoying. Treasure! What's in here? Joy Pendant. Okay, the more the merrier. 
But here's the problem with these keys. Uh, if you hit them with fire, they'll set on fire. You won't kill them by talking about it. You'll have to you can hit them with a plain stick. Oh wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. I lied, I lied. It's when they get hit with lava that they turn on a fire piece. My bad. Sorry for the misinformation. Anyway, I'm gonna need this torch so I can see where the hell I'm going. And that is the wrong way. So we're gonna have to go through this door here and light that torch over there. And the other torch too. Those torches will stay lit for a while, so yeah, just go. Okay, we have bomb flower and we have a giant boulder with a pot covering it. This is one of those teleport pots. Since this game doesn't have a magic mirror, you can simply jump into a pot if you happen to uncover the boulder and it'll take you back to the checkpoint of the stage. Make sure you uncover the pots, because if you don't, you're just going to end up back at the beginning of the stage having to fight through everything all over again except for getting the dungeon items. And now we're here, folks. Oh wait, no, this isn't the dungeon. Sorry, this isn't the area we're talking about. Wrong thing. Got him a false alarm. But... In this room, you have to uncover enemies who have to be hidden in jars. I mean, it's not really hard to find them. Just simply break all the jars there. Yeah, like this guy right here. He thought he was clever. He thought he was actually sneaky by hiding in that jar. And you're not drop kicking me in the head again. I've had enough of that already. Aw, no butterfly pen- I mean, no joy pendants, sorry. Why do they call them butterfly pendants? They're joy pendants. I do believe the other one is on the higher level. So I'll just keep smashing pots until I find him. He's not here. He's not here. Not here. Not here. So he must be on the lower level. Right here. There we go. That's all of them, folks. So now all we have to do is climb upstairs. And now we're going to have to go through a uh, area where you're going to end up having to run for your life. Let's see, I think this might be the air- No, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. Damn, I keep jumping the gun. I will need this pot. And I burn myself. Damn it! <clears throat> this is gonna be annoying. Alright. Let's just throw the pot onto the field. Let's kill this thing. Die! I'll just jump across. Oh, wait. Whoa, that was close. But I'm gonna just jump across here since I don't have to worry about those, uh... Monsters that shoot out lava. Wait, we'll wait till the lava shoots up first. And then when it comes down again, we're gonna throw this pot onto the place where the lava is. And not fall in the goddamn lava! <sighs> Cut. Alright, let's try this again. Grab the pot. Jump across the platform. Get the heart. Wait till the lava finish gushing up in the air. Let it fall down. And then throw the pot. There we go. Now jump on the platform. That's what I was trying to do instead of failing miserably. Now jump across before that platform wears off and you'll end up falling in lava again. Alright, this may look like a stopping point, but that's just me saving to start another session, so... I'm going to go on ahead and continue up to this point here. 
But we are right across the way from the boss room. And we need bomb flowers. There's two ways to go, actually. First off, let's throw a bomb flower there. Or I could sit one down there, whichever one comes first. Sit the bomb flower down, and that leads to a pot. Now we got two checkpoints to worry about, but the thing is you'll have to keep jumping in the pots until you reach that uh, area. And now we've come to the outside area. This is the part where you need to run like hell. Because the stairs will fall underneath you. And look, Lulu is right there and he's in a really bad mood. Don't worry, his flames will last for problems. Anyway, run, run like your life depends on it. Because this is vintage Indiana Jones. And now we've come to this arena where Medley is locked behind a gate and you're gonna have to take out both Coblins. These guys aren't really that hard. Ouch. Assholes. I think I got one of them, I did. And there's the other one. Oh wait, no, I got only one of them. Damn, that sucks. Art, that works. And here comes where my problems come in and where I'm gonna eat my words, the Moblins. They hit really hard and they throw him right close to me! See, what the game wants you to do is to counter-attack him. But the problem is, as soon as he gets up, he'll try to duck you. He'll try to hit you and he's gotta reach with that spear. And that's another thing. You try to counter with the damn spear. Uh, it's a very small opening to try to get the, uh... Oh, you bastard! That is a dick move, really! You know what? Screw it. I'm going out. I'm going out like a G. I'm gonna kill this guy. Or rather, I'm gonna try to get me some hearts. I should go get me some hearts. But instead, I die! No! Oh! There goes my words there, folks. Can't believe I died there. See you guys at the end of this temple, because I'm going to finish it off in part 9.